Then we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code Channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Lead Code and Geeks for Geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's problem is smallest positive missing number which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. Okay, so we will be given one array ARR of integer types and its size can range from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and elements inside this array can have minimum minus 10 raised to the power 6 and maximum 10 raised to the power 6 okay all right let's find out what we have to do so as it is clear from its name only we have to return the smallest missing positive number okay so this is an array it contains elements and these elements can be anything negative zero or positive but i have to return the first number which is first positive number which is not there like start from one and if you will see one is present here two is present here but three is not present so i will return three okay all right here you will see one is present two is present three is present but four is not present i will return four okay similarly here you will see zero is present but one is not present so return one okay all right so yeah uh, in this way we can simply uh, i think the problem statement will be clear now let's come back to the approach which approach we will be using so first one approach which is coming in my mind which is also the brute force approach is very very simple first of all sort the array okay first of all sort the array so on our sorting the array our array will become something like let's say minus three one one two four seven okay i hope this one will be clear and after that look escape skip all the negative numbers skip all the negative and zero okay so on skipping my pointer will reach here okay and doesn't matter whatever negative numbers are there just skip them because we have to check on positive number okay so i'm currently at here my current my expected value yeah expected value e let's say will be also one because one will be there okay so one is present all right moving forward now look i will skip all the indexes with the same value if it is same yes so skip this and now i will come to this okay and i will increment my expected to two as well okay all right after that two two matches yes so now i will move to next pointer until it is not two so two is not two here so i will be moving here and my expected will move to three become three now okay but three is equal to four no so here we are not matching and expected value was three three is not present so i will simply return three this is the first approach where i will sort the array and then simply run a loop so the time complexity for it is n log n and it will be accepted okay all right now let's see the another solution as well without sorting because we can sort it without sorting as well okay all right so how we can do this let me write the array with along with the indexes so zero one two three four five okay these are the indexes and uh, the number present here is what let's have two two spaces so that it becomes more clear something like this and here two is there then minus three is there then four is there then one one and seven something like this our array is okay all right okay so now what approach i will do i will try to put all the positive numbers to its correct position i will try to put all the positive numbers to its correct position what does this mean this means key zero at zero and look one one position like look let's say for first for first number is two okay so two's correct position will be what look i will be having one or two positive number only positive numbers i will try to put at its correct position okay so two's correct position will be what at one index at one index okay so what i will simply do is i will simply swap zero index like current index is zero and expected index expected index of two is what one i will simply swap them i will simply swap them okay so on swapping i will get something like minus three and here it is two okay all right something like this okay all right now zero is at zero minus three is present so i cannot put it at its correct position i will cannot put it at its correct position i will simply move to one so now my pointer is one okay all right one's correct position like one correct expected value should be what i plus one two it is there okay all right moving forward i will move to here i will move to two index then so two's correct index will be what three which is not present three is not present okay what is present four okay so four's expected index correct index will be what i minus one three okay so i will move like three index and two index again swap. again swap three index and two index so it will become something like here it will be uh, one and here it will come four. Okay. Now still my pointer is at two. Okay. So if is one at its now one at its correct position at two index one at its correct position. No. One's correct position is zero index. One's correct position is zero index. Again I will swap. 
so it will become minus 3 and this will become 1 okay something like this I hope this will be clear as well oh sorry I hope uh, it is clear I will zoom or whatever you say okay now again 2 uh, now at 2 minus 3 is present I cannot put it at its correct position because minus 3 is negative okay all right so move further move the pointer to this 3 index now okay at 3 index expected value is 4 and per current value is 4 as well okay all right uh, moving forward 4 at 4 expected value is 1 at 4 expected value is 1 okay at four, no sorry at 4 expected value is 5 at 4 expected value is 5 but here it is 1 so I will check if at 1's correct position is what 1's correct index is what 0 I will check if at 0 1 is present or not yes at 0 1 is present so I will not do anything because otherwise what position it will be okay so 1 is already present okay all right moving forward at 5 at 5 7 is present which is out of the length out of the length so I cannot place it at its correct position skip okay all right so now after that again what I will do I will run a loop again for loop 1 at its correct position yes 2 at its correct position yes 3 at its correct position no 3 is not there at 2 so 3 is missing I will simply return 3 so this is a bit tricky but here we are not sorting the array so I will be explaining the solution of this and the earlier one it was already explained like it's a very very easy to code so I think you guys can code it by yourself all right so first of all let's write a function to swap let's write a function to swap two elements static void int uh, sorry swap it will be taking two values int arr first of all then two indexes i and int j let's say okay now i will take another variable and temp is equal to arr i arr of i is equal to arr of j and arr of j is equal to tmp something like this i hope this one is clear now what i told arr first of all i will take one index i equal to zero okay i will traverse over the whole loop using while while i is less than arr dot length okay now look what i told if i will check if i will can place i at its correct position and it is not present so i will simply try to swap let me write it so if nums of i nums not arr of i is greater than zero okay and then arr of i is less than or equal to arr dot length so because look then only I can place it at its correct position then only I can place it at its correct position like I'm expecting it at to be one index so that's right and after that and and nums of i oh, sorry why am I writing nums of i it's just arr of i not equal to at its correct position what is the correct position of arri correct position of arri is arr of i inside arr of i minus one okay so in that way I will swap in that case I will swap I will call the swap arr and current index is i expected index is what arr of i minus one okay all right if it is not there so simply i will increment i plus plus if i'm swapping i will not increment otherwise i will increment and at last again let's run the loop i is already declared so i is less than arr dot length i plus plus if arr of i not equal to i plus one it means it is it's not present it means it's not present okay so simply return i plus 1 simply return i plus 1 otherwise otherwise what i will i will do i will come out of this loop it means all the array indexes are full so what will be uh, remaining now arr dot length plus 1 okay so this one because look 1 2 3 4 5 if there are six elements so all six elements will be filled here 1 2 3 4 5 6 now what will be the next positive number 7 arr dot length plus 1 okay so i think it should get accepted let me submit it meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe as channel and like the video okay there is few issue let me check what oh sorry it should be arr of i minus 1 something like this now i think it should get accepted well look correct index is arr of i minus 1 not i inside bracket okay so i think it will be getting accepted now meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video i have got my gig bit i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding share your feedbacks into the comment section and bye